H lookup is just mainly the opposite of V lookup and the H in the lookup just stand for horizontal uh, just like the um, the vertical uh, lookup so which is V lookup here we have a table of um, student and the subject that they took um, so and we have this particular one with the subject that they took and this one have the grade um, in horizontal um, so you can look up to be able to find um, what uh, their grade um, was so for example Harley's uh, took maths and if we look uh, in this table um, you have the grade here so imagine you have hundreds and hundreds of rows so you're not going to start doing that manually um, so you can just have here um, let's say grade here uh, so imagine this is another table and this might actually be done from you might be able to capture this information as well from um, another table uh, another worksheet rather uh, just like um, it was demonstrated in the VLOOKUP uh, VLOOK um, uh, training uh, so now um, I can look up Alice I can just click there and equals as usual and H lookup and once, once you start with H then you begin to see um, the drop down and you can just choose there and the open bracket um, parenthesis and um, what is the lookup value we're looking up um, Alice and then we put a comma and next we have the table array so just that's just um, the uh, location where you want to capture the information uh, the data from and now you can just click and just drag and make sure you capture all of this and then you have comma and then you can just uh, select the row index row index really this isn't really just the uh, this row here we're talking about this uh, we're talking about this particular um, uh, this particular row specifically this is row one uh, where you have name row two is where you have the subject and row three is where you have the grade so the grade is what we're looking for so we have to select three and that is our row index and then comma and then you can then choose exact in most cases you we need to choose exact except if you're not sure but in most cases really uh, it's just easier to just to choose the force which is extract um, it's a bit strange really I didn't, I'm not sure why the Microsoft uh, use uh, force for exact but well, anyway this is what it is so force is exact and then you click that and then you close the bracket and now enter and what you have you can just see now you have the grid and if you drag it down or double click to fill uh, to auto fill the remaining and the reason why this is showing done is just simply because and it can be annoying to see this really and it's just as simple as because if i click on there you can see that that has just jumped down to another yeah so uh, excel automatically does that and then you can if you if i click on the next one as well what well, you will see that is jumped down so what we want to do to avoid that is to lock we need to lock the uh display so that it just every time it's searching is searching here so we lock our array and uh, we lock it from hop and then drag down again so here um, this is our array um, I'll put dollar sign before and after so that lock the row um, the column that lock the row and then do the same for this as well lock the column and lock the row and then enter and then drag down again what we should expect is to see everything nice and clean so you can see if we test this with Evans and Evan did math as well and Evan here you can see 75 is good and let's try Fiona uh, Fiona 
science and 88 um so that quite good mark and actually this is the one the history and scored the highest oh no actually bob uh, science scored the highest 92 so and this is just the way age lookup work in this simple term and of course it can be combined with a lot of older function to perform some more um you know complex um data manipulation